Hello everyone. I know I haven't done a video in ages. Um, I just want to briefly say that I've been really ill um, and I've suffered several bereavements. I lost my uncle, two of my animals died. Um, I also had a bit of an accident with my hand and there's been some other health problems as well that have been going on for months. Um, I'm feeling a lot better, although I'm still having blood tests because there might be something wrong with my kidneys and something else going on, possibly with my blood. Um, but I'm back anyway. Um, this is my DT project from months ago for the old design shop. Um, and this is actually the second video I've done for it because I accidentally deleted the wrong take, the finished take, when I filmed it the first time. Um, and, but it was a week when there was so much going on, I didn't have time to redo it. And then you have Christmas, everything else. But I'm back. Um, so I will be back now doing journals again. Um, so <laughs> my apologies big time to Julie um, from the old design shop. That poor woman, the length of time she's waited for me to do this, and all of you. Um, so anyway, let's get into this. And this one I'm going to put on sale on Etsy, but I haven't even officially opened a shop yet. But I'll still link my Etsy below. Um, you don't need a ribbon to tie this shirt, so this is more decorative. It's yarn ribbon. And it's a discontinued ribbon. You can't get it anymore. I um, can't remember the make now. It's either Crystal Palace yarns, which are defunct, or Plymouth yarns, or, or one of those. Or is it Black Horse? It's so many different makes of yarns. Um, right. Now, there's a really unusual rosette trim on the spine that I had sent from Australia. It's not like the other rosette trims. And it's that real vintage upholstery fabric. There's little metal corners to protect it from fraying. And this gorgeous image here is from the old design shop. Um, and when I edit the video, I'll link you all the kits of Julie's that I used. Now... <clears throat> These papers are from Graphic 45, Parisian Cafe, I think. Little doily envelope. Um, and the doilies are from Denise's shop. A tattered dream. And I've got to remember all these. Um, again, Nostalgia Graphic Land. Arena Atelier. The old design shop. This Mrs. Beaton's cookbook illustration is also from the old design shop, as is this. If you want to read the ephemera, you can always pause. That's the old design shop, and this is, oh my God, that's Arena Atelier, and it's got some of that yarn ribbon on top. A little glassine envelope from Janine's shop, J9 Scraps. This pretty little card is also Nostalgia Graphic Land. That is the Mrs. Beaton's cookbook from the 1970s. Wait, no, it's not. That's, <laughs> that's an old um, Marks and Spencer's cookbook from the 1970s, actually, that page. Um, these digis are from Hage Papers, um, and they were called Pudding Papers for a bit, this shop, and now it's Hage Papers. Oh, um, little teapot charm there, a little silver teapot. I hope I remember all the charms. There's another classic cookbook, other than Mrs. Beaton, and I, it's on the tip of my tongue, the name. Um... I forgot, but I'll write it down, and the illustration is from that, and um, that 
image is Shutterstock, I think. Or it could be off the old design shop blog, actually. These are Artie Mays. Time to cook, I think. Some ledger paper as a pocket. And the shop I got those ledger papers from, I didn't think... Oh my God, what's it called? I forgot. These are from Vintage by Me. I'll link where these came from in the description. I forgot where that was from as well. And I'm usually pretty good on remembering things. That is from the Graphics Fairy. You've seen the teapot charm. Then there's a charm of a tea bag. This is basically a cakes and desserts themed journal. Baking and cooking, recipes. That's from the old design shop blog. That is from the Mrs. Beaton's book from the 70s. And that serviette is also, it's Mrs. Beaton's desserts on there. That's from the old design shop blog. These are from TLC Creates Vintage. And it's called My Grocery Catalog, I think. These are from Country Creations. Oh my God, I need to remember what the shop is called and I love it, all this stuff. I should have um, made a note of where everything was from and I thought I had and I've obviously left things out. Old design shop. That's from a collage sheet from the old design shop as well. Um, and there's a charm of another, it's a cup and a saucer, like a flower shaped cup. Graphics fairy. And I get my bags, it's actually brown glassine. I get them in bulk from La Box Boutique on Etsy. There's all cookbook pages in here. That's Nostalgia Graphic Land. These cakes along here I cut out from these digital cookbook pages from the old design shop that I, I actually meant to sew the pages into this book. I printed them out. And when I put the journal together, I realised I left them out. There's some organza along the cake from the old design shop, the actual main site. Artie Mays and... That is my favourite page with all the cakes and the donuts. This pretty trim, it's like pink ribbon through crochet. Some washi with sweets on. An ice cream receipt that is also the old design shop. One of them is from the main site and one of them is from her shop. It's a digi that you would buy. And that paper is from the same digital um, ledger paper pack is the one I did the pocket out of that I can't believe I haven't there's two shops now I can't remember the names of oh this beautiful chocolate receipt this vintage chocolate receipt is one that you can also purchase on the old design shops Etsy and these are on the free site I was so lucky to get this this is the cover of a good housekeeping cake decorating magazine from 1951, I think, the early 50s. I Kool-Aid dyed that. There's a few Kool-Aid dyed papers in here. So if you see any blue or pink papers, I dyed them with Kool-Aid. Harge papers again. My back is killing me and my shoulder. I've got real problems with my shoulder and my neck. And we're trying to work out what's wrong with me. Um, those are all vintage by me. Chocolate receipt, also from the old design shop. I made some kind of faffy... Um, library pocket 
I did some kind of weird pocket anyway with an envelope. Um, and I got the idea from Liz, who is the paper project. Oh, and this beautiful picture is also Mrs. Beaton, and it's from the old design shop on Etsy. And that chocolate receipt is from the old design shop blog. Doily from Denise's shop. Bow Bunny. And this gorgeous fabric tipping is from Ooh La Crafts. And these were kindly gifted to me. And I did a video earlier back of those. These teacups are Dreams Etc. from the Rose Cafe. I don't know what happened to the camera then. Yeah, the Rose Cafe kit of Jen's because I couldn't find my teacup dye. And then I found it after it was done. So I did those little tea bag things there. Oh, and that's one of Cheryl's envelopes. My friend Donna Jameson gifted me these wax papers and they're all relation to sweet things. The next charm is a little teacup and saucer. More Mrs. Beaton. I love that um, treacle pudding. It just looks so real. In fact, I think it is real. It's from that collage sheet. Oh, and these, these are all from the old design shop as well on Etsy. Uh, Nostalgia Graphic Land. And I just printed some lace on the back. And it was literally lace that someone was selling on eBay. And I nicked the photo. I shouldn't admit that, should I, on YouTube? <laughs> Um, that you've got to read that ad so if you get a chance to pause on it that's from the ephemera pack from um, the old design shop more of that good housekeeping magazine from the 50s this lovely doily is also from Denise's shop and this bag from the lemon cat those are swirls of icing on there um, and there's some extra journaling or extra recipe cards. These are also from the old design shop. Oh, I love these. Okay, these pockets in the centre, they're all a slice of pumpkin pie from the Graphics Fairy, the free site. And these gorgeous cake cards, these French cakes, are from a set of digis that I got for my DT from the old design shop. And they're just my favourites out of all the digis. There's some extra recipe cards in here. Now, these are also from the old design shop. And since I made this journal, Julie has now done a set of pages to go with these. I'm definitely going to do another cookery journal different to this soon. I've got so much stuff left over <laughs> from this. Also from the set from Julie. Um, this is where I used the collage sheet and the cookbook pages. That's old design shop, Mrs. Beaton. I love that. And that is um, one of Daisy's from her French classifieds kit. I thought it went really well. I'll just put it back later. That's old design shop. Really pretty cakes. This cute one is from, um, sorry, Rusty Curio. It's like a Scrabble tile. And I know there's a charm. There's an egg timer here. So cakes, sand timer. So we've got the Jello box as a pocket. These are Christie Art Design. That's Tsunami Rose from the um, Tea Time Desserts kit, and so is that. That's really cute, that image with the kit and the little girl. It's 
Style Geographic Land. These are amazing. These printed recipes for puddings in um, the old type font. Those were a set that I got, again, the old design shop on Etsy. I got that, it was a freebie off a blog and I just loved it. And that is also free from the old design shop blog. As are these dairy tokens and this gorgeous label. Basically, all the digi stamping in here is from the old design shop <coughs> blog and from, you know, the main website and from the graphics theory. Oh, I wish I could remember the exact name of that shop. Something like Country Creations or Sha Country Shabby Creations. Really pretty recipe cards. There's four of those. Um... Also from Etsy, but I just can't remember. So cute. That's the old design shop as well. But the blog, not the shop. Mrs. Beaton's plum pudding. Some more of those gorgeous French cakes. And that wax paper with all the references to sweet things. So pretty. I love those cakes. And these cakes are from the Graphics Fairy. Harge Papers again. That was from Sweetly Scrapped. I thought it was really cute. A mason jar from a children's book. That was gifted to me by um, Paulette at TLC Creates. The old design shop again. The site, not the shop. And that. Um, I just love the way that recipe card looks on there and it's for English pudding. Some useless information about uh, useless information. <laughs> That's typical of me. Useful information about weights and measures. Um, a belly band here with Mrs. Beaton's cakes on it and that's just something I found online on a free vintage images dot com I think it's called that's one of those um one of the other cake cards in the old design shop and that's from the collage sheet and that's one of the other little cards those are Vintage by me, and it used to be called Tattered Vintage. This was funny. I couldn't find my other die either, the slip pocket die, because I'd just been moving stuff, um, moving rooms around. So I did this makeshift slip pocket, and there's all these little cards in here from Vintage by Me and Nostalgia Graphic Land. And there's a spare recipe card from the old design shop tucked down the back with a retro image. These backgrounds are dreams, etc. The grungy uh, lined backgrounds. Again, these are all harsh papers. Nostalgia Graphic Land, old design shop. Kool-Aid dyed paper. Um, I just decorated that with a cake case. An Artie Mays ticket with the donuts. That is also the old design shop. There's a couple of those in here. They're gorgeous, like ledger paper with the fruits. Those are also, those were free, you know, free pretty things for you. Another digi shop gave these papers away for free. And when I get my laptop back, because I've done something to it, don't ask what, um, I will then link you where I got those so that you can get them if you want. I haven't missed anything. 
So this is like a double pocket. So the chocolate cake is a pocket at the front. So there's lots of movable recipe cards or journal cards. You could either use this to, as a place to keep your recipes in um, or if you're just someone who loves chocolate like me, <laughs> just use it as a journal. So there's another tip in with the jar of peaches. And this charm here is a mouse. The idea being old fashioned kitchens with mice stealing cake crumbs. I don't know, it's just the way my mind works. Um, there was something tucked behind there. Um, right, so you've got another one of the old design shop recipe cards. You've got that, which is from the main site. Another one of those gorgeous cards with the berries. Um, no doubt I'll tuck something behind that cake before it goes up. I meant to use this as a digi stamp and I can't believe I missed it out. I might just, I don't know, but I'm going to put that in with it and I'll tuck something behind it, some little cards or something. So there's some gingham ribbon through there. And I've dyed doily patterns onto the pages. There's a gorgeous doily pattern there of like Tudor roses. It might not pick up on the film. A Kate Greenaway illustration um, about a tea party. I don't know if you'll see that to be able to pause on it, but it's really cute. And that was also the old design shop. These papers here are by Vintage Le Chocolat. Um, and if I'd known about the shop before I made this, I would have lined the cover with them. And with the berries. I'm sure there's another one I meant to put in. I'll tuck it in there later if I've left one out. That's so cute. That's from the old design shop ephemera pack which I will link you. Also the old design shop. Um, Irene Atelier. If I had the name of the shop in front of me, I might know how to pronounce it. And then you've got the useful information <laughs> to do with baking, also the old design shop. And that gorgeous strawberry cake, which is from the main site, so it's another free image. Oh, so finally, um, and you can see it here, by the way, with all the charms sticking out the sides and all the lace. It wasn't meant to be a lacy affair, but it ended up being one anyway. So if anyone's interested in this, I'll link my Etsy below and I will definitely put it up on there. Um, and I'll be back soon. I'm definitely due another subby giveaway since I've been gone for over six months. Um... And hopefully, when I've fixed my laptop, which I'm going to get my friend to have a look at it tomorrow to see what I did to it, um, I'll be able to start making more journals. So, everyone, Happy New Year. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you soon. Bye.